Hello and welcome to Granny Does Games. Um, got a, I've had this little game, Trash Goblin, on my wish list for a little while and this demo popped up so I thought we might give it a go. Um, now, this is a wholesome and cosy shopkeeping game where you uncover and clean trinkets for sale. Customise them by upcycling and more to, to meet your customers' needs. So that sounds pretty good to me. Um, just adjust the volume a little bit on my speakers, which is a bit loud. That's better. Okay. Yep, so uh, <coughs> this is um, the message from the team. We're super excited to share trash, trash goblins with you. This demo is early. We want to make a good impression and figure we should let you know where it sits in development and where we want to take it. Chipping. We're super happy and we think this is 90% finished. Cleaning. So this is the stuff that the goblin does. We tweaked this a lot after recent feedback from EGX and it may be 50% complete. Selling. This is the least representative of our goals for the final game. It's missing haggling, trinket and customer attributes and other bits we've got planned too. Hopefully it still makes you smile. Beyond that, we've got plans for taking your shop across the city as a pop-up and tons more. Suffice to say, this demo is the result of a lot of love and hard work by a small team. We like to support small teams on this channel. So we'd love to hear what you think on our Discord, or even better, to see the Goblin Gang grow with Steam wish lists and follows. There we go. So, let's start this, shall we? Give it a go. Welcome to Trash Goblin. This is a cosy shopkeeping game. You're a little goblin with big dreams in the employ of Eamon, the kindly antique dealer who works upstairs. Your goal is to sell trinkets and save up enough money to start your very own archaeology business. Sacks of goblin knows what are delivered to your shop every day. So chip the dirt away to find whatever is hiding underneath. Sell them as is, or spend some time cleaning them to hawk them for a higher price, once you've bought a sponge, of course. Manage your time to make the most of every day, or just enjoy pottering in your cosy little space. It's up to you. Okay. Clean craft options. Oh, I like the little finger. <laughs> okay. Start working. Drag that sack onto the mat with your left mouse button to get ready for work. Equip the chisel with the left mouse button and then use it on the sack to begin chipping. You can put the tools down with the right mouse button. Okay, so drag your sack to the mat. Yes. Take the tool. Whoa away craft to reveal trinkets. Chipping away will gradually reveal the trinket hidden underneath. If you chip any parts containing the trinket they are marked automatically. Rotate the whole lump by dragging with left right mouse button and reset the view with the button in the top ah, left hand corner of the screen. This one. Okay. So we're going to chip and see what we can find. Oh. Did I do that? We realign it. Oh wow! <coughs> 14 appeared. Okay. Continue. Congratulations, you got your first trinket. Store it in your stash by dragging it over and dropping it in. You can left mouse button on the stash to open it up and check your lovely hoard and drag stuff back out. 
there's a stash book on your workbench and customer desk. Okay, we've got a workbench. Done. Um, drop the tool. Thank you. Put that in there. Cool. Workbench, customer desk. Okay. Shopkeeper. Personal space. That's my bed. Workbench. Cool. Let's try this one, shall we? Put that over there. Pick up my tool. No, I can't do that. Some of it is a bit harder to grow than others. Where the trinket is, perhaps? Oh wow, what's that? That looks pretty cool. I like that. Continue. Our time. You used up all your time today. Each time you uncover a trinket, you use up one time slot tracked in the UI on the left. Okay, up here. You can still buy and sell what you have found. Talk to NPCs and explore your workshop. Okay. Okay, let's drop my tool. There we go. Okay, customer disk. Can I talk to you? Good day to you. I heard you're the goblin to come. I heard tell you're the goblin to come to when in search of certain rare items. You've come to the right goblin. In fact, I'm looking for a hairpin. I had no luck for months now and I'm at my wit's end and I do hope your reputation is deserved. Yeah, no pressure. I'm after a hairpin, okay. Do I have a hairpin? What is this? How about this? Deal! Deal? Did I sell it for 100G? Deal! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, ahem, well, it's a fair price. So I just really like this. So thank you. Oh, no problem. Nice, your first sale. Drag that pouch of gold into your stash to claim it and have a think about what you might want to buy. Okay. Drag that claim it. I've got a hundred gold. Okay, thank you. Um Okay. Oh, hello. Who are you? Hey you goblin. Hey you boss man. Uh, I told you before I don't like it when you call me boss. This is a partnership. Okay. This boss of yours has a lovely old sponge if you're after one. Uh, sure. That would be poor, a hundred. If my math is right. How much? Gotta spend to earn, that's what they say. Okay, let's go for it. Here you go. Make better use of it than me. Don't forget, I'm taking the wagon on that trip for a couple of days, so take care of the shop while I'm away. Can't wait to use it. Have fun. A sponge. Okay. A sponge. You will be able to clean trinkets up and sell them for even more gold. You've done everything you can for today. Goblins don't do crunch. So navigate to your personal space and click onto the bed and wrap things up. There'll be plenty more to do tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Uh, personal space. I want to go to bed. Oh, the chasm. Palace, Harkwell, River Hunda, River Eklun. Eklun? Eklun. Cool. Whoa, where am I going now? No, I don't want to go there. I want to go to personal space. And I want to go to sleep. Night falls. Day one.
and paid 100 gold. I spent 100 gold on a sponge. That's a very expensive sponge. I discovered a bottle and a hairpin. Okay, continue. Day two starts with the cock crowing as usual. Customer disc. Oh, I've got another customer. Hey, that looks like my boss with a moustache. Oh well, I never. A new shop that I've never visited before. What fun. Hello, strange goblin who I've never met. <laughs> that, that fake tash must tickle. Ha, yeah, well now, I'm looking for a grandma's egg. Is that something you might have, perchance? I'll see what I can do. I'm after a cleaned grandma's egg. Okay. Ah, workbench. Right, let's have a look in here and see if we have a clean a grandma's egg. Right, toast. If you do the blue ones, you can't do ones until you've done certain ones. Um, perhaps you are supposed to be more efficient when you're doing this? Good question. Chipping um, away we are. Away. Whoa, wow. That appeared. That's pretty cool. Cleaning trinkets. Place a dirty trinket onto the mat and then with the sponge equipped, clean on the trinket to begin. Left click on the, the trinket to begin cleaning. Scrub by cleaning and dragging and keep it up till the dirt is gone. Okay. Okay, we don't want to drop that. I'm going to pick this up. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I am scrubbing, 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 scrubbing. Well, I think I'm scrubbing. Um, right. There's some, oh, there we go. That's better. This is nice. It's a bit very relaxing. Just like... Um, uh, power wash simulator. Yeah. About this bit here. Oh, it's looking it's looking very beautiful now. Oh, I don't have to why can't I clean this bit here? Um oh there we go. My sponge getting dirty. Do I have to clean my sponge? You've got to put it in the right place to clean it. By the looks of it. Um, there you go. This bit here. This bit here. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I drop this somewhere. Oh. Can I drop my sponge? Great. Um. Can I have a look in here? I want to get the bottle out, and I want to. Oh, there we go. I want to clean the bottle. Okay. Um. Here we go. No. Ah, you have to start by the you by the edge, apparently. Can't start in the middle. By the looks of it. There we go, what a lovely bottle. Ah, I hope everybody's doing well today. And uh, this looks like a very nice relaxing kind of game. Um, it looks like the developers will be adding a little bit more to it, which sounds good to me. Oh dear, I think I might have 
off one, put my candle out with the sponge, maybe. Um, hold on, hold on. I think there might be some cleaning to do on the bottom. There we go. Oh, I did it. Beautiful. Put that back. Now, can I do any more of this? Oh, oh put it down. Okay, pick up this. I can. Getting a bit more efficient at this. Got to learn the um Got to learn the, the mechanics of the game. That looks like where the this looks like where the trinket is. I think yeah, some more. No, no, these looks like boing boing. I can't boing them. Whoa. Sometimes you do that and a whole bunch go. Hmm, this one's a bit harder. I wonder if this is grandma's egg. Ah, oh, that's good. Um, oh wow. Got rid of those. What about these? Why can't I get rid of those? Okay. That's where the trinket is. Oh, I see. You gotta hit the right spot. Wow. What is that? That is uh, interesting. What did we find? Let's do a bit of cleaning on this one. This looks like a mask or something. Think that's Grandma's egg? I don't know. It's definitely got a face and it's... It's there. The face seems to be inside of an egg. So I'm thinking that maybe this might be Grandma's egg. I wonder if the uh, customer is still there, or she's got them fed up and uh, left. If there was a time limit on it, that would be sort of a bit more stressful. I'm not very good with uh, stressful games, I kind of panic a bit. Game called Dome Keeper. That was quite fun. Kind of what I wanted to play. I've got it on my wish list, but um, no. I. Uh, it looks a little stressful. And to be quite honest with you, I play video games. I love it. I play video games to de-stress. I don't know about you guys. Have a look. Are you Grandma's egg? Let's go to the customer desk. Hey, I think I might have Grandma's egg for you. Um, is this what you're after? Deal or no deal? How much are you selling it for? Zero. Um, oh. Hundred. Deal or no deal? Okay, it's a deal. This is perfect. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Okay, another hundred gold. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Okay, let's go back to my workbench. Can I do another thing? Okay, got to do the brown ones first. And some brown ones are easier than others. It's like a, um, a gym wire. Whoa, that went. Does that mean that I've run out of, um, and I have to go to bed now? No, it's not bedtime. Uh, shopkeeper? Can I buy something? No, because the shopkeeper's not there. Um, customer desk? No, there's nobody there. Um, Personal space. Should I get to oh. Night falls. The owls are tutuing. I have discovered a horn, a grandma's egg, and a magnifying glass. Well, very cool. So, I just thought I'd put this out there um, for you guys to have a look at. To me it seems like a very pleasant, nice game and it looks like they will add stuff to it at some point. Um, but yeah, if you like this video drop a like. Um, likes and comments will let me know if you want to see me play a bit more of this or um, you know the views make a difference too if I see a lot of people looking at it then I might do another one but um, it's a certainly a game that I would play myself because it seems very relaxing um, yeah but let me know like subscribe comment all that good stuff and I will see you next time on Granny Does Games. Bye for now.